Well, hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. And what I'm going to be discussing is how I went from a drug addict to a Christian and what inspired me to start my ministry, Lift With Christ. For me, I had Christian roots that started at a young age. My mom and dad are both Christian and sent me to private school, so I always had a strong foundation in Christ. As I got into my mid to late teens, I slowly started to fade away from my Christian foundation that I was brought up with. When I was 17, I had my first of five knee surgeries. I was born with a condition of my knees called bilateral subluxation, which essentially means whenever I would play sports, run, or jog, my kneecaps would dislocate out of place. My first knee surgery was during my junior year of high school, where I had to realign my right kneecap, and my second knee surgery was in that same year to realign my left kneecap. I went on my senior year to have my third and fourth knee surgery. My third knee surgery was for crepitus in my right knee, and my fourth knee surgery was for bone spurs in my left knee. My fifth knee surgery was during my first year of college where I had to get my screws taken out of both of my knees. By this point in my life, I became very fatigued and exhausted. Not only was I in and out of a wheelchair for two and a half years, but I was constantly going to physical therapy and started to develop a heavy addiction to prescription painkillers. At the height of my addiction, I was doing over 200 milligrams of oxycodone a day. I was also falling into sin and doing a lot of things I shouldn't be doing. I was constantly going to parties, drinking alcohol, sleeping around with women, and going to strip clubs. I was at a really low point in my life because I had drained all my money on my bank account on oxycodone and partying to mask the anxiety and depression that I was suffering from. Deep down, I had an emptiness inside of me. And I filled that emptiness with all of the bad decisions that I was making in my life. I truly did not know who I was or who I was called to be. I eventually reached a point at the height of my addiction that I just had enough. The 200 milligrams of oxycodone that I was taking a day wasn't even making me high anymore. It was making me just simply feel normal. I knew that if I didn't stop, I was eventually going to overdose. And there was a night where I was just breaking down, crying on my bed, reaching out to God, begging him for mercy on me, begging him to forgive me of my sins, and asking him to give me a wife, a family, a job, a new hope, a new future. And as I was saying this prayer, I felt tingles that started in my head that zipped all the way down into my stomach and my whole body began to tremble and vibrate. After that moment, I never doubted God's existence ever again. The next day, I admitted myself into a detox center and was fully committed to getting sober. Even though I had that supernatural encounter with Christ, God did not heal me from the pain that I had to go through with the withdrawal. But what God did was give me the strength to endure and face the withdrawal head on so I can make it out on the other side and maintain my sobriety. When I was at the detox center, I made myself a vow. And that vow was when I left the detox center, I was going to recommit myself to fitness and get into the best shape of my life. I was really tired of just being chunky, eating junk food all the time. And I knew that if I was going to make big changes, then I was going to have to change things in my life in a big way. From that point forward, I turned my addiction from drugs into an addiction to fitness. And whenever I was at the gym, whether it was during my cardio or in between my sets or sometimes even during my reps, I would always find myself constantly praying to God. I also regained that fire for church again. I was a lukewarm Christian that simply acknowledged God's existence and God spit me out of his mouth only to recreate me into a Christian who lived for God's existence. I then reached a point where I was on a new high each and every single day, just finding myself in the gym, working out, praying to God, reading my Bible, going to church, and I just had this new fire for life. But then as some time went on, I paused and I asked myself, why did God have me go through this? Why did God pick me to save from my drug addiction. And I knew deep down in my heart that if God could do this for me, I knew that God could do this for somebody else out there. With this newfound fire that I had in my life for fitness and Christianity, 
I wanted to share this with people and I decided in that moment that I was going to start my own ministry. December of 2020, I remember praying to God and telling him that I was going to get into the ministry. But my question for him wasn't whether I wanted to get into ministry or not, but what the name would be. And I remember the very first thought that popped into my head was lift with Christ. And right after I got the name, I told myself that I was going to put my best foot forward and go all in and fully commit to this Lift With Christ ministry that I was about to start. I remember posting so many videos in my apartment in Ohio and then my apartment in Tulsa, and it was really rich in Christian content, but boy, was it certainly lacking in video quality. From that point forward, I got into filming videos on YouTube. I got noticed by a friend of mine named Steve Fiesel, who got me into motivational speaking, and the rest is history. I want to remind you that the pen is in your hand, and you are writing your story. I posted this video because I truly want to reach people with my story. Lift with Christ isn't about how much you can lift in the weight room. It's about lifting up others in Christ. There's times we all doubt. There's times we all worry. There's times that we make mistakes. And I wanted to share this story to reassure you that God does not pick perfect people for the right jobs, but God picks the right people for the perfect jobs. I've learned through all of this that in life, God wants you to learn how to lose before you can win. And God will put you in uncomfortable situations so you can rise up trust in him, lean on him, and ultimately grow with him. Whoever you are watching this video, I want to assure you that it is never too late to start a relationship with God. And I know that through the power of God, that us as Christ's disciples can reach several people, whether it's in person at a church service or through the internet, we can reach people and touch their lives and guide people closer to Christ. And that's my story from how I've went from a drug addict to a Christian to a now minister. And I want to know yours. If you're somebody who's accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, I want you to share your story in the comment section. To continue following my story and to stay plugged in to what I'm doing with my Lift With Christ ministry, I ask that you smash that subscribe button. And together, I want to lift people up for Christ and bring glory to God's kingdom. Thank you for watching this video and hearing my testimony. If you'd like to listen to my Christian single, Heart of a Lion, I'm going to have a link in the comment section and in the description. God bless you all, and I'll be sure to see you again in another video. Take care now. Gaglioni on the mic, though it may seem odd. Started lift with Christ, now I rap for God.